now that we know how to work with songbooks and bibles we are going to take it a step further so far whenever we select a slide and present it on screen it shows up on this plain black background which is fine but what if you wanted to make your presentations a bit more interesting you can do that by simply changing the background now video sound comes pre-installed with a few still image background presently with that black background we are currently on this one which is plain black but you can change it to any one of these backgrounds that have been supplied with the software by simply clicking on them when you click on it you get the background change instantly the same for video we can also set video backgrounds in video sound but currently we, are, we, we have only this one video pre-installed which in my opinion doesn't really work especially when you have to display scriptures or song lyrics on the screen you will only distract the congregation because they would simply be watching a wildlife video but it was presented it was i'm sure it was added because it's a free video so how do we get our own videos how do we install our own videos or our own still images i'm going to begin by showing you how to import your own custom still images I'm just going to select this let's get back to the black background i'll click on the drop down icon there to expand the menu and right here we have import images so click there and then select images from your hard drive and click next and here i have three images on my file on my folder it opens the file browser so i'm just going to select these three images and click open and wait for video sound to import all three images and now we have them here right there the three of them so I'm just gonna click OK here and select this one now that's a beautiful background and can really work anytime you could also come over here and select any one of these other backgrounds that you've imported now for when we're working with bright backgrounds like this one and you need to make your text presently it makes the text difficult to see to, to fix that all you need to do is adjust the brightness of the background by pulling on this dragging across this brightness slider and there we are able to adjust the background so our text becomes legible again so the same thing works when we apply videos now i'll be showing you how to get your own videos now for images you can easily get in free images on uh, pexels.com so that's just um, a free image website pexels there are a couple of other websites you can go to get free images but well, just open pexels there's on splash there's a uh, pixabay really good websites so you can get some really good images along as we go and for videos right now we are stuck with just this one video and we don't really want to work with that so how do we get our own videos you can also go on the internet and download custom motion background so just go to your browser and search for church motion backgrounds and right away we have a list of links on the Google search but the one I particularly love here are the files I find in churchmediadrop.com so I'm gonna click that you can also bookmark it when you open up so you can always come back to the site whenever you need to and they have a list of images and videos for use in church i kind of like this one here by dan stevers the fabricent so i'm going to click that and click on the download button i have the file already downloaded on my hard drive so you can go ahead and download it for yourself and use it now this is the downloaded file you just need to open it and extract the file a fabricent motions so i have it here extracted already and these are these are the videos so we're going to have to import those particular videos into video sound let's just switch back to video sound and open the drop down menu just as we did with the images and select import videos yeah videos from my hard drive and click next it opens the file browser and I already have the file, the folder here in place. 
so all i need to do is select all the videos i want or select the specific ones holding the control key hold, hold, hold the control key and click but i'm just going to select them all and click open now notice something video sound by default supports window media video file that's a wmv files but these ones we are importing are in quicktime video format so there's going to be a problem which i'm also going to show you how to fix so i'm just going to click open to import these files and notice what happens here okay it says you imported four videos and yeah the video menu expands just as though i have four videos but for some reason it's all plain white and we can't see anything the we don't know which is which and even when i click on any of these videos nothing shows up it doesn't replace the background and that's the problem so how do we fix that presently video sam natively supports only window windows media video file wmv video files but how do we make video sam support other formats other video formats now that we have our work imported we just need to close video sam that's the first thing we're going to do and then we need to install a codec pack so i'm going to open a new tab and search for k light codec pack it's a small software that when it's installed on your computer it will help video sound support larger a, a wider range of video formats so now that i have the search results being displayed k light codec pack i'm just going to click on the first link right there and say download basic now this will lead us to the latest version of the basic codec pack so you click on any of these mirrors here either mirror one or mirror two personally i have the software already downloaded on my computer so i'm just going to go to my video sam resources folder software and install k -Lite codec pack now when you've downloaded it you can also follow my steps here which is quite simple all you just need to do is click next we're not going to change any one of these options here yeah just click next 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 none of these options need to be changed so i'll install the software and remember close make ensure that video sam is already closed so you need to restart the software to avoid any problems and click finish i'll just close that we don't need that anymore now that we are done installing, we are going to open video sound again. So right away, we are back into video sound. I'm just going to click on the background tab again. And here we still have those white th thumbnails showing. And that's because video sound couldn't access the videos. But if I click on any one of them, notice it shows up. And we are able to import a wide range of video formats without any problems but then how do you fix this white these white rectangles you just simply need to come here click on the drop down menu and rebuild thumbnails when you click on that it says you want to rebuild the thumbnails maybe you should rebuild blah 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 click ok yep so it says please wait loading in, pro in progress so we wait while it processes the thumbnails and there we have the video thumbnails and our problem is completely solved so we can now play any videos we want we can also use them as video backgrounds in video sound so that's that